Hello everyone and welcome back to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Sorry it's been a little bit. I unfortunately broke my pinky playing football and had to have surgery, so I'm a little behind on my 7th Continent playthrough. <laughs> and I'm going to be a little bit clumsy, so sorry about that. But, if you guys remember, our two heroes, Dimitri and Keelan, are over here hanging out. They just climbed this, uh, this cliff, and they have now, fortunately, thanks to Steve and other viewers, we have found a hidden number on this card. So I think the first thing we're going to do is go over there and explore it. Now, it is not cheap to do movement right now. It is three cards we have to draw from our action deck to be able to move. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our walking stick. We're going to do this action together. So both Keelan and Dimitri are going to move together. We're going to decrease this to a three, and that means we now have to draw two less cards from our action deck to do that movement. So we just have to draw one card. So we'll grab this card and reveal it. Oh, and it's a Keelan special. You may discard this card during the result step of an action you are involved in in order to apply the following effect, plus three. Ooh. Okay, she'll keep that. She'll discard this friction fire card. I don't think we're going to use that right now, so we'll put this in the discard pile. This is going to allow us to move onto this space together. And now we need to find card 182. It's probably really hard to see on camera. I'll maybe try and zoom up on it so you can see it. But we're going to find card 182. Walking through the area, you notice a patch of dirt that seems to have been turned over. Now you see this icon here? This means that if you think you found this, make sure you found it on the card number 313. I already checked that, so we're good. So then we can reveal this card. Oh, cool. Look, there's a dig spot. So we can place our two explorers here. And you know what? I'm not even going to ask. We're going to go dig. We're going to do this action together. And once again, I'm just not certain about if we're going to need to dig a ton more or not. But <laughs> I'm going to use the shovel. So the shovel, we're going to put this down to a one. If I can find a one. There it is. And we draw two less cards. And by the way, this says that we would get successes. Now, if we draw cards that have a number seven on it, which is pretty cool, but we're not going to draw any cards and we don't even have to because our success that we need is zero. So we automatically succeed. Let's see what we find. You uncover an iron bound oaken chest. Its sturdy lock would discourage anyone without the appropriate tools. Oh, we found a lock. Okay, we can do a key action. We can only draw two cards and get three successes. If you can circumvent the mechanism, we get a 003 and a 350 card. Ooh. Of course, if we fail, look at this. Protection system. Oh, man. Well, do you guys see that we have this club here? We could hammer that thing open. Do you see this icon? We could use that for an unlock action. I think I'm going to do it. So what this is saying is we're going to get two guaranteed successes, and then we also, if there's any other uh, lucky sevens when we draw cards, those are also going to be successes. So what we're going to do is we're going to tick this down to a two. We're going to have both Keelan and uh, Dimitri do this action together. We need a total of three successes. I get to draw two action cards. Oh, perfect. There's one success right there. And there's a half success, but that's fine. Uh, we couldn't we couldn't put them together, but we at least got one. That's all we needed. And oh, this looks kind of cool for Keelan. Let me see which one I want to keep. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to keep this learn by doing because we can discard this to get a minus three on an action. I'm running out of action cards really fast. So I'm going to have uh, Dimitri keep this card. He's going to discard this knowledge is power card. I, I don't know if I have enough time to do these. So I'm going to discard this and we're going to keep the... Um, the learn by doing card instead. This means though we get a 003 card and a 350 and this. Here's our 003 card. We essentially gain another experience. Gosh, I hope I figure out what I can do with all this experience. And there are a crap ton of 350 cards. <laughs> so we're just going to shuffle them up and we're going to draw this one. Well, this is kind of cool. We have a magnifying glass. It's going to give us five for the amount of times we can use it. We can use it for these three different types of actions. That's, of course, I think searching, fire. I have no idea what that is. Oh, that's decipher. Cool. And it gives us one success. Oh, that's awesome. So we're going to have Keelan take that because she only has one item right now. No, she has two. But she'll take that for her third item. We now draw the 240 yellow card, flip it over, 
and it simply states an oaken chest that is of no use anymore and we place it on this side okay so we got a magnifying glass out of that not bad I'd say that's probably still better than our crown what do you guys think <laughs> well after that I think we just keep forging on what do you guys think so let's spend zero actions have both Keelan and Dimitri do this it's a pathfinding action and flip this card look at this it's a canned octopus this octopus is not exactly fresh meat, but it's better than nothing. Randomly take eight cards on the discard pile and shuffle them back into the action deck and then banish this. That's awesome. But look, it's a strength test where we draw zero action cards and have to get three successes. Ah, uh, we don't have any items that has the strength icon, do we? Oh man, we don't have anything that gives us an additional benefit for strength. We've got a lot of things for fighting and for unlocking, but not for that. Bummer. I'm going to give this canned octopus to Dimitri. The canned octopus has no keywords, so we're just simply going to put it underneath this shoe, snowshoe, and unfortunately we don't get to add to the durability of the snowshoe, but we can use the snowshoe to use that card's effect. We did find a stony track slopes up towards the south. These desolate barren lands only allow a few sparse shrubs to grow here and seems very unlikely to provide you with any kind of solace. Do we need solace? <laughs> Huh, you guys, looks like we found a statue, and we have another exploration card here. If we look at our map, it looks like we were supposed to go straight up, and then there's some sort of, almost like we have to jump over a cliff to get to another area and then go to the left. I don't know. I still have no idea if I'm even going the right way, but I feel like because we can go this way on our map, maybe we're still going the right way? <laughs> I don't know. I think there's not much else for us to do except for to press on. So we're going to use the walking stick again, which means our stick is going to go from three to a two, and we're going to have to draw one adventure card, and we get, ooh, a bamboo armor. Eh, let's discard it. We don't need another item right now. And then we can move onto this tile. We have a couple different things we can do. We could go and explore this, but we have to draw yet another card. <laughs> or we could pathfind this. And I think we're going to both do this action and pathfind this card. So let's flip it. And it says, Nine track. The path in front of you looks vaguely familiar. Are you sure you're not going around in circles? Uh-oh. Take a 145 card. We have found... Spot and count all the differences between this card and the card that enabled you to take it. Take a 170 card, 170 card to discover if you have found the right number and then return this. <laughs> oh, this is where I wish I could just stop the video and let you guys help me find those differences because I'm sure I'm not going to count them all. Okay, you guys, let's see how many we can find. All right, I see one very quickly. Snow here, so that's one. Flower here, that's two. This face... That's three. This drawing, that's four. There's an extra rock here, that's five. There's a whole root here that isn't here, that's six. There's no stone here, that's seven. After looking at this, you guys, for way, way, way too long, I feel like it's seven, right? Because I was counting them before, but I've forgotten. I've got one because there's no second root here, two, because there's no snow here, three, because of the flower here, four, because there's no rock here, five, because of this right here, six, because there's nothing here, and then seven, because there's no rock there. So I'm going with seven. If you guys disagree with me, let me know. All right, so now what we do is we draw a 170 card. Everything looks the same, so it's certainly possible that you've been traveling around in circles for hours. Here's the answer to the question you were asked. We look, we're at the uh, NNE. That had eight differences. Oh, I said seven. If you found the correct answer, take two zero zero three cards. If you did not, discard three cards randomly taken from the action deck. Oh, no. So our top three action cards right here, gone. Oh, man. Towards the east, the ground slopes gently and turns sandy. A few frail trees are the only vegetation there, and they greatly contrast with the colorful and luxuriant forest to the west. Wow, that looks pretty. Look at that tree and everything. And then we'll place this right here. 
I think before we move, we're going to do one more action. And that's going to be to do this search here. So we're both going to do this so we can draw this one card. And we get examine the notes. Oh, that will be kind of nice. Oh, and that's one of these um, decipher ones. Take two zero five zero cards. Keep one and discard the other. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll give that to Dimitri. He'll discard this Bolas card. I mean, it's great, but... Uh, we haven't had to use for it, and I just, I need to get things out of my hand. You squat to take a closer look and begin to feel a sort of vibration along with a high-pitched hiss. What we can do here for an action is count how many marks you can see on the train tiles that are in play. If you count up to six marks, discard this and replace it with a 079 card. If you counted seven marks, you draw a 162 card. And if you've counted eight or more marks, count a 228, or pick a 228 card. It's very likely impossible for you guys to see, but I count six that I can see. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the six blue ones I see. So now that was the lowest numbered one, and it makes me nervous. I would assume you'd probably want the higher numbered one for a success. So I don't know if I should do it or not. I'm a little bit wary. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me think about this. I personally don't think it's worth it. I think that that's going to be something bad. I think if we maybe had seen eight, we might, be get, might get something good. But so I think instead, I'm going to press on. I think we need to keep moving this way. So let's keep doing it. What do you think? If you look here, once we get a move on, will be easier for us to move. But for now, it's still going to cost us three movement actions or three action cards to move. So we're going to tick our walking stick down to one which really kind of stinks. We're only going to be able to use it one more time, but we're getting good use out of this thing. And we're going to draw one action card, and we get uh, Nerves of Steel. And unfortunately, this is a good card, but I think I'm going to discard it. And we're going to move to this location. Now over here, we're both going to work together again, and we're going to do our Pathfind action. And what do we find? Travel Light. Your sore and stiff shoulders are starting to cramp, so you decide to stop and rest. Each involved character may discard any number of cards from their inventory. For each card discarded this way, randomly take one card from the discard pile and shuffle it back into the action deck. Oh yes, each involved character that cannot or does not want to takes a 101 card. Well that's perfect. I'm going to give up the shovel for Dimitri and the walking stick for Keelan so we can grab two cards from our discard pile and put them back in to our deck. I picked these two because both of them only had one durability anyways, and so this way we can hopefully get some better card. Look at this. This is our discard pile. It's huge. So I'm going to shuffle it up and put two back into the action deck. You arrive near the border of a forest where you can hear all manners of insects and animal sounds. Whoa, this is starting to look really cool, you guys. Look at this. And we'll put two number three. So we're kind of changing where we're going now. This is this is really cool. You can see we're changing regions because we're putting out level three, or not level, but three type adventure cards. Oh man, what are we going to find now? Before I call it for this video, and then you guys can help me if you think we're going the right way and I should keep going, or if we should stop, we have here examine the notes. How about taking a few moments to study the notes that you and your companions took on your previous expedition to the seventh continent? This only can use one action and we have to get or one action card and get one success. But Keelan has this magnifying glass. So we're going to tick this down and this is going to give us minus two and or one success. So we can get one success and draw zero cards. So we automatically succeeded. We can now take two zero five zero cards. I think that just makes a lot of sense. There are tons of these zero five zero cards. So we're going to grab this one. And we're going to grab, I don't know, this one. We found Floor to Floor. This page, torn from the botanist journal, reads, and this makes perfect sense because Keelan's a botanist, Floor to Floor has been proven to have antis antismatic properties on both a digestive and respiratory level. It can relieve abdominal cramps and facilitate expectoration in subjects suffering from loose cough. Huh, cool. So when this plant can be seen on your terrain card, you can take an action and each involved character returns their nauseated state. Cool, nobody has nauseated states, but I like it. Our second piece of information we have is Vampolina. Vampolina produces a fragrance that mainly induces leth lethargy. It remains to be determined if it is part of the plant's defense mechanism or if it's a reproductive cycle. <laughs> when this plant can be seen on your terrain card, 
minus one and a star for any sort of thinking action or resting action. The other thing I'm thinking of doing is trying to do this action with this octopus. I'm really running out of action cards. The total I have is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight, okay? Eight total. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tick this down to a three. And then if I can find a three. <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play from Keelan's hand. So this is gonna be both Keelan and Dimitri. And Keelan's going to play this card. You can discard this during the result step of an action that you were involved in in order to apply the following effect, plus three. So we get to draw plus three action cards, trying to get three successes. So we'll draw these three. And we have, oh, look at that. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I've been so lucky with that. Okay, we've got, oh, a bow. Cool. And unexpected property. Okay. Cool. So I know I gave up three cards to do this, but I'm going to get five in net back into my deck because I'm going to get eight total from the discard pile back into my action deck. Oh, and you guys, of course, if you look at this rope, look, we could have used that to help us with that octopus uh, can. But of course, we didn't draw it till now. Bummer. I think of those three cards, we are going to keep the rope. And now Keelan has some open space in her hand, so she's going to hold on to it. And don't forget, from this pile, we're going to shuffle eight of these back into our action deck. I think I'm gonna call it for now, you guys. I could do a prey action here, so my inkling is that there's some sort of grave site there. I mean, that's what it was the last time. <laughs> so I could potentially do a grave site action there, but that one, I have to get one success. I could continue on in this jungle, but I'm starting to second guess myself. I mean, I, I don't know. I, with this, does it look like, I mean, we're going around, we've, we've gone up. We found the uh, the edge of this island. Maybe we're supposed to go over and go straight down. So maybe that's what we're supposed to do here, or maybe not. <laughs> or am I going the totally the wrong way? I need to come back here, do a praying action, and come this way on this card over here. Curious what you guys think. Hope you guys are enjoying this. This has been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying it with you, doing this with you guys. I have a lot of action cards back into my deck now, so I feel a little bit better. That oct octopus, mmm, tasted good. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon.